What's up guys, welcome to your ninth WX tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to take a simple image, such as this creek right here, and turn it into a button. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this because whenever we're working with buttons, um, the defaults kind of, they don't suck, but they're kind of plain. And anytime we wanna build a cool looking button, then we need to use our own bitmap. And normally you wouldn't use like an image, you'd just make a cool looking button, but same concept, you'll get it. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and make our button object, and I'm just gonna name it pick, since uh, I can remember picture, that's what I usually call them. The next you need to do wx.image, and this lets you use image, but it takes a few parameters. The first parameter is um, pretty much the name of the file, and mine's named creek.bmp, it's bitmap. And this needs to be in the same directory as your um, program. If it's in something else, then again, you need to um, do your slashes and all that with your different folder names. But just uh, for this tutorial, put it in the same directory. After that, you need to write this WX dot in all capital, capital letters bitmap, not mitmap, bitmap underscore type underscore BMP. And the last thing you need to do is convert to bitmap. And this, again, just fill in all of this. And what this is going to do is store this bitmap picture in a variable or object called pick. So now we can do things to this pick. So just remember. What this does is allow you to use pick anytime you want to use that picture instead of having to type this whole thing out. So the next thing we want to do after this is go ahead and create that button. So go ahead and put self dot, uh, just name it button or something. And what you need to set it equal to is wx dot, and this is how you make bitmap buttons. Bitmap button, and in your parentheses, you write what you want its uh, parent to be. I'm going to write mine panel. Negative 1 for ID. Negative 1. And then, after this, you got to name what you want your button to be. And so we want ours to be pick. Again, that's what we just made. And the last parameter you probably want is the position of it. So, right, POS stands for piece of... No, I'm just kidding. It stands for position. Uh, let's go ahead and put 10... 10, 10 or something doesn't matter um, and now what we have here is pretty much a button but the thing is this is pretty much just a picture of a button right now and we didn't give it any functionality so what we want to do is bind an event to the button so we have a button and it's pretty much just saying alright what do you want to do with it what we want to do is self bind and what we're going to create right here is the function of when you click on the button it closes so what do we want to bind to the button um well we don't need that equal sign first of all um put wx event underscore button and this means um well you see what it means you should know all this from the last tutorials uh we need to be create a function later that says do me and this do me function is going to close the button and you want to bind to self dot button so what this bind did is say alright on the button function we want to execute this function do me to the button and if you're running alright where is this do me function well we got to build that later so let's go ahead and press enter and now we just have to set uh, do, well you'll see self button and put set default and what this is pretty much your uh, housekeeping for creating your button so now it looks like we're good to go but the only thing we have left to do is create that do me function and what that do me function does is pretty much say just close this button so let's go ahead and put create a function def do yep there we go right there and the parameters take self event and real simple just put self destroy I spell that right close enough so let me run this and I'll show you guys what it does 
when you run it, I go ahead and it, we have this picture right here of this creek, and then we can either close it out using this, or if we click this creek, which is also the button, it go ahead and closes the program like that. So let me show you guys why this works. The first thing we did is take this entire image right here. This is how you do it. You can't change this. And we stored it in a variable called pick. This is just to make it easier. The next thing we did is go ahead and create a button using WX bitmap button. This is how you create bitmaps, bitmap buttons in WX. The parent was panel, ID negative one. The button, it says, all right, what do you want to use for a button? We want to use that pick image. And this is just positioning. The next thing we do, it says, all right, if we just created a button, if we don't make it have any function, then it's pretty much just a picture. We don't want that. So what we need to do is combine when we click the button to have it shut down. And we, again, we put that shut down function in do me, and then we built that later on. So whenever it says, all right, we want to execute a program called do me, and that program just destroys the button. And this is just housekeeping to create the button. So again, that is your ninth tutorial on how to create bitmap buttons. Um, hopefully you know now how to create them. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.